For this exercise, we'll express the solution set of the inequality in interval notation and graph the interval. We have x is less than or equal to 3. So on our number line, we're interested in the number 3. So here's 3, and x we want to be less than or equal to 3. So in this case, 3 is a possible solution to this inequality. So we'll use the bracket with the square corners to indicate that 3 is included. And we want values that are less than 3 or to the left of 3. Now we need to write this in interval notation. Whenever you write something in interval notation, it's easy to start at the left-hand side of the graph, and the first thing that you see, you want to write down all the way to the right-hand side. Well, this arrow indicates it goes infinitely in the negative direction, so really it starts at negative infinity, and we use parentheses around positive or negative infinity. So it goes from negative infinity, and it stops at 3, and it includes 3. So because we had the square bracket here, on the number line, we'll use it on the interval.